hello what's up guys i'm excited to share another interesting tutorial in this video i will show you how to add google maps and google places in ios project using google ports i will go through from the start by generating api key to google console and using that key to get the google places using autocomplete api the sdk automatically handle access to the google map servers map displays and uh, responses and user gestures in second part i will get google api key from google console okay now here is the complete method to visit the google console i will right click and open it internet connection is slow today okay now I'll click the project drop down and select to create a project or which you want to add an api key select this menu api and services credentials okay now we'll do all these steps to generate an api key that I will use in my project. Okay. Now here is my Google Console, and I will add this new project for my this demo project. Okay, I will add a GitHub link also in the description so you can check my complete project from my github profile i will upload this complete project on my github profile once i create it on google profile google console i created a project for this and now you can see that enabled api is the map sdk is enabled now I will go to the APIs. Select the project. Okay, I will select the project that I will create it. And after that, I will enable the places API on this project. Okay, go to the dashboard and uh, load. Uh, here you can see the list of APIs that are enabled on my uh, project. Enable this API. Okay, now I will search the places API and I will add or enable the places api on this project and here you can see that the places api I will select this and here you can see that enable button i enable it now this api is enabled on my google console project now i will use these api services inside my project using the API key that I will copy I will show you okay now you can see that this is places API is enabled on my project now I will go you can check the quotas here or that how request more quota limits for or you can enable you need to enable the billing or your pricing details you can check the pricing of this places api now i'm going to search for api key now you can see that these two apis are enabled that is map sdk for is and places api these apis i will use in my ios project now i'm going to find the api key for the credentials now here you can see this is the api key of a project i will copy this uh, api key now uh, now the sdks are installed maps and places are added in my project now i will open the workspace project dot here you can see that I will 
I need to add this workspace because after installing pods I need to use this project now I will close this previous project and uh, open this workspace project this workspace project contains uh, the map SDK and places SDK uh, here you can see that the pod file contains these two lines that we previously added now in my project the libraries are added now I will use those libraries I will import in the app delegate uh, Google Maps and Google Places Google Maps import now I will import places also import Google Places now I will put these lines Google, Google GMS services and GMS places client and I will put the API key that I will generate it previously here and make sure that this key is secret not share this key with others so if you share this key with others and other will use it and then your quota will expire too frequently now I'll copy my key correctly in these methods of places and maps paste now I will open my storyboard and I will add a new view controller screen side by side these are the two controllers and I will add button on my first screen and I will change the name of my button to go to maps and now I will add the constraint for the button from top and now I will center it horizontally inside the container now my button will be in the center and if I click it now I will push my controller to my second controller now I will add a navigation in my app this will create a clean navigation for my app you can see that navigation bar is also added and his back button is showing on the navigation bar automatically now I will add the title of my navigation bar to Google Maps screen now I'm gonna add the view class uh, view control from the library inspector I will drag to fit to the complete screen and now I will add the constraints to 0, 0 left right top bottom add so it will now I will add the class of Google Maps to this view I will assign basically the Google class to this view class name is this and yes yeah, that is GMS map view that is the extension of my main view and I will optimize my system is hanging a little bit now I'm gonna
now I am creating a new Google controller there is my second screen of Google Maps I will name it map PC that is Swift class so I will change the language drop down that is the language Swift next in my folder now this is my map PC now I will assign it my PC now I will do my coding in this map PC class Go to assistant editor it will show you side by side the code class of the graphical view class now I will name it map view that IB outlet is created for my view you can see the G GSM map view class now it will giving me error so I need to import the Google framework here Now I can use Google methods inside this class. Now in my view view did load method I will add map view settings that is the initial settings that I wanted when my map view is loaded in the screen. I wanted compass button is true. So the little compass button it will be showed on my Google Maps and other settings are my location button. My location button will be true. Okay, I think I these are the methods. My location enabled is true. I will remove this line because I will already edit this. I'll put this comment above now here you can see that user locations I will enable it whenever my map loads these are my initial settings for my Google map and now I'm gonna use this method uh, if you want to see what this method does you need to go to my previous tutorial I will put the link of my previous tutorial in the description that is the part one of this tutorial uh, now I am using this method of CL location manager to get the current location now I will run my app in the simulator. Let's see what will happen. In previous tutorial, I basically done to fetch the current location of the user using Apple native services. That is CL4 score location. And now I am using Google Maps to get the locations uh, using Google Map SDK. Now my app is running on the simulator. Let's see if Google Map is loaded on the screen. This is the uh, permission pop up. Now I go to Google Maps. Or first you need to enable the locations in the simulator now here you can see that the current location is fetched now I will go to Google Maps screen now here is my Google Maps are loaded in 
the screen now you can see the logs here I think I did something wrong here let me check and run again okay now my simulator is loaded and I click the go to maps button now you can see that the maps are loaded my current location is London please subscribe my channel so that I will upload more videos now here you can see that that is my current location I London obviously I selected here London so you need to enable the locations in the simulator to track your current location now maps are loaded everything is fine now now I am doing another thing I am going to add text box for the places API.